good morning family lab today we're going to pick up me ball molly mccann i'm going to try and do a little bit things a little bit different so on jazz tv this week we're going to go and play golf it might be the blind leading the blind molly thinks that she can play golf but i don't think she can and neither can i so i'll never know so we'll find out i'll uh, take some advice off molly you just let me know in the comments uh, what we're doing right well if anything what we're doing wrong and um, yeah write down in the comments what, what you think and and give us some guidance or some feedback on um, how it's going with the channel but anyway yeah i'm gonna go and pick her up from the gym now she's just finished training she's waiting for us so yeah i'm sure it should be a good day it's always fun with mom what's going on jazza tv it's me the meatball head i've just finished training and now we're gonna go with the golf course and i'm gonna teach jazz how to drive and do a few pitching wedging all of that stuff so come on Going down, Jazz Pot. Well, I just farted. I'm sorry. Are you missing it? I've got to have my lunch here. Here's our clubs, lad. And the little um. Are you left-handed or just box left-handed? I don't know, Mum. Well, I haven't got a clue. I'm left-handed, but fight right-handed and left-handed, but my clubs are right-handed. So you're gonna have to be orthodox today. I'm be dexterous. That's be what dexterous. I am. But we might have to get you a little one of them, a little MJ glove, lads. <laughs> <laughs> you play um, pool lefty or righty? Right. right. The, only right do, the only thing I do right handed is pool. Is it? Yeah. I do everything right handed apart from right, a right and left handed. Do you want it? That's why I always switch and fight them. I'm having there. What have you done to your bottle? Shout out to my nutrition. <laughs> body feel. <laughs> smash, smash the bottle. I don't know what that one did. <laughs> I drink these instead of water all does. Good idea. Good night, nice, Hardy. So he started talking to me a few days ago in this weird kind of like gobbledygook language. Is it real? You've got like another Scouse language that you talk. Or is he, is that what it is? Yeah, Jonathan didn't believe me, Mum. No, I don't believe him. It's a real thing, but I never learned it. Me. You can't bounce a bush. I can't, can't do it, lads. I can't do it. Oh, no, nah, he did. That's like the, the, the ultimate scout, scout test. I know, but I could never remember. Can you not understand, Mandy? I can understand I was, what you said, though. Yeah, because I was saying to you, like, my kids can understand it when I talk here. Scouts can understand it, but if you start talking, it'd be really know, strong. I just have to listen to you, yeah. I'm really fucking listen. Do you know what I mean? It's like travel language, yeah. isn't it? Well, yeah. It's like, what, what do they call that? You have their own um, pattern, don't you? Yeah, my, um, my cousin, Kathleen McCann. She's a hundred percent Roman Gypsy. So my uncle married the traveller. Yeah. And um, she can speak it. I remember once she went, can't, can't talk her to Kabul. I went, whoa! She went, can't talk her to Kabul. Something like that. I went, what's that mean? She's like, shut up, I'm on the rob. Sabo, see that way? Mabby and Mabolly and Gabon to Gabolf. Mabolly's Gabon and Shabo, me about to play. So, Bo, if you can have a understand about this, I can subscribe. So, like today, me and Molly are going to play golf, and if you can understand this. See? Could you understand that? Not a chance, not a word. And yeah, you can a golf, so say, hey, stay gay, make you make all your gay golf to play gay golf. You're playing what? Gay golf. What's gay golf? I can play but gay you golf. Can change your card. You can't play gay golf, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Steph Bargain. Where's Where's Jazz and Molly looking? Oh, Steph Bargain. Um, no, I actually know we should be friends. Um, so Steph Bargain was actually jogging. Yeah. Can I get some slabs? Slabs. You like the slabs, don't you, Mom? I love a trap. I've got. I'm the only way one type, so I'll be at well. Are you a 110 or a 95? So what do you say? What am I? No, what you call them? 110s or 90? What are they? What are those? Air Max. Air Max 97. 91, the fake these. <laughs> <laughs> Shows on copy days. Um, I would say. 110s, Mum. I'd say 110s, even though they're about 220 now. Yeah, so from 110s, Mum. Uh, one tens we still call Air Max 95s, one tens because they would cost £110. 
when was that? Yeah. 20 years like ago? 95. <laughs> no, in, well, up until I'd say like 2006 or something. I didn't get my first pair of 110s till two years ago. Did you? Wow. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm a tomboy and that, but I just could afford you like, you're asking for it if a girl wears a pair of 110s, but no. I just broke the mould and did it anyway. Unapologetically, Unapologetically me, but... To win. Joe would you win. say, Mel? Would you say this is right? Although, like, it was like Cuban style of boxing sometimes, weren't it? Yeah. He had that them ways, but we also carried that Cuban arrogance with us too. Yeah. Where the, that was the only way to box. Yeah. Yeah, because then I, I still don't know another person who can hold the pad other than Pete Taylor and him, like how he used to hold the pad. Yeah. Like they're just very much the same, aren't they? Well, when you came to, to uh, remember when you came to our gym in the um, Dublin? Yeah. And you were in the pads and, and you looked at me and you looked like you know, Yeah. Oh, yeah, do you remember? Same, where, it's, it's just like back in the day. Yeah. Like Harry Potter's on the stairs in there, lad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we knocked that high. Yeah. I stepped off it, I said it was ice. When I came to the car, I went off the floor. It fell out of my feet, and I was in the van next to me. What's he? And he came to say, Taz, are you alive? Are you alive, son? Jazz, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you getting in that way for? Because he's brought us the wrong fucking place. What have you done, Jazz? Nothing. Jazz, what have you done? I'm not selling you. Molly's fault. Molly was saying, go in there, go in there, but I just went this way. What's this lunatic doing now? Yeah, give him the ball, mate. Just need to get out. Stop it! Jesus. Oh, yeah. He's brought us to the wrong place. The thing's there. We've got two guys. Walking down here now, not looking very fucking happy. They look like sheepish to me. They got things in their hands and they're not very happy. <laughs> How do you know once? What? One of them, nice one, Tarbox. Thank you very much. Jesus. He was a nice chap, him. He was a proper scout, so he? he just didn't want the noise going yeah, on for five man. minutes. That's your back, son. <laughs> yeah. That's something that we'd say as well. He's a scout, isn't him? Yeah. That means something to us. No, anyone else watching out who's like nothing with Bill. Yeah, and he's going on about our fucking living with scouts again. Yeah, we are. Because <laughs> we're proud of his scouts. <laughs> so if someone we like someone, that was a show, wasn't it, Mel, back in the day? I was still saying. Oh man, you're a scout of you. <laughs> Not when someone give you the sweets, you're a scout of you. <laughs> My man would kill me if I didn't know after you love. Get in there! <laughs> you and your upside down drink. Let's have a watch so you can see where my ball goes and all that. Do what we're like with gadgets. Get carried away with yeah. it. What are they going for? Yeah. What is it, Gavin? What are you doing? It's Okay, yeah. 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 What are you doing? 
<laughs> you That's are. What we do, Not even more balls today. We just what we do. We, just we don't here. get knocked out, and we don't fucking pay for club hey, balls. Well, we haven't bought no balls. We, uh, we just go up and get them. It's a bit of a risk, like in it, more when you go out too far and the balls flying past your head. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Especially with our teeth, lad. Yeah, it shows you where it's gone, look. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm off the green! Shit, we're going to have to figure this out, aren't we? 188 yards to go. You do yours, I'm in the rough. Ready for this? I'm in the rough. I'm going to call out Dana White here to sign me up. Yeah. Ready? Ready for to this? To the UFC or to go? You see how I've this? So I'll challenge Molly to a longest driving competition <laughs> and see if you can ping it the longest over five balls. What do you reckon, Molly? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you've got man strength, but we'll see. We'll see. Takey vs West Derby T for this. What was yours? Antalya vs West Derby. Where was yours? Constantinople. Oh, Santa Fe. Istanbul. Oh, Istanbul vs West Derby. Mr. Ball. How far has that gone? How far has it gone? It's just a little tiny there. Okay, so Jazz has done She even... wasn't for 29 yards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's get Molly's first one. Come on, big boy. Oof. Ball with garlic. Oof. Like more than one fifty, I ain't got mine to come down here. Flat carry 160, 170. 172, look. Not bad. Like where? You do need We've got two Ooh. whammos left and 176. What are you on? 215. 115. 215. 215, so yeah, I need a good near. Moxie Bay's cake. Moxie Bay's cake. Is it cake tail? Is that not 
Yeah. 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 When you relax then, pow! I always get it when I think I'm not coming. Shit! I score, I score! Oof! Yes! Did you get one? 1 8 5. 1 8 6. Never in doubt. Nice pair of chairs, isn't it? Oh, you fucking brat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My mum would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so when you're playing the PlayStation and like some of the scores, you blame it on them because they've walked in the room. Why are you coming in the room? <laughs> what did you get? Two twenty. Yeah. So these Molly's one, you realise? Yeah. Unfortunately, it means I've got to say well done, Mol. Do you take your hand do with the glove on? Shut up! Stand up a little bit. That's it. That's it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he just hits his own head. This could go very wrong. You probably beat my veins now. That's what it is. That's it, yeah. The tools. Have you seen since we was kids much difference for the opportunities for kids nowadays to that when we were younger? Yeah. It's like yeah and no, isn't it? I feel I've like I've seen the same outlets, but more of them. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I only need boxing. I mean. Yeah. I think with the, the project, the weapons down, it's like boxing was our way out fighting. But if they weren't no boxing, that's what I say there's more boxing clubs in there. But if they weren't no boxing, then what? No. I know. That's the thing, yeah. They're not they're not there to be boxers, are they or professional athletes? They're there to be Yeah. <laughs> do well in life, and <laughs> yeah. get a job, get a I feel like at the beginning, Weapon Sound Gloves Up was brought to get to intervene and be a bit of an intervention for everything of yeah. what's going wrong in the city. But now it's become a little bit more broader and it's just helping anyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's really hard to get kids yeah. out of gangs until yeah. they're ready to make the change and not go them to. Yeah. But we can help kids who are just about to get into it and try and get them out. I think that's what's yeah. the the good thing and I think like say the charity has been going about three and a half years or the initiative has yeah. um, I think they've had like they've got a really high percentage rate of how many kids they follow through and or we have followed through and, and getting full time employment and jobs but it's just making sure I think we've done really well in terms of making sponsorship so we can pay for the kids yeah. to do the course yeah. and offer them that stuff but the hardest bit now is getting them roles because the kids are coming from 16 yeah who wants to take on a 16 yeah. year old do you know what i mean yeah and sometimes it still doesn't work you can give yeah. every kid every chance do you know what i mean yeah. there's been a yeah. few kids they got their qualifications they got into the gyms they box in the gyms they yeah. go and have full-time work and then after six months they go fuck this and then yeah. go back to what they was doing it's like yeah. how do you help that what do we do but i think at weapons down what we realized is we're doing the job that no one else can do yes the police can't do it, schools can't do it, colleges, unis can't do it, yeah. youth clubs can't do it, and we're trying to pick up. So. I do know as well. What, so do the, the, what do the kids see in Weapons Down that they don't, that they don't see in the college? Because they can get the same 
thing in a college if they put their mind to it? I think it's just the legit legitimacy of having someone like me, Tony, yourself, whenever you can, Billy Moore, having people whose lives could have gone or have gone that way. Yeah. And then they've seen what we can do now. Yeah. The guidance and probably... well, doesn't it? The guidance, someone yeah. saying, go this way. It is a bit, you'll see it now where you coach Ed, like mentor Ed, I want to help him with the business side of stuff. It's the same, the thrill that you get helping him yeah, get, yeah. secure a job, yeah. it, get a fight, get his pace, yeah. fly to America. When we have kids, this is what you'll come to tomorrow. When you see kids graduate at the end, you're like, yes, do you know what I mean? Because you know, yeah. you've done everything you can for that person then and for them kids. And because it's personal for us in terms of it's Liverpool, yeah. you care more. Of course, yeah. I, I, like, I can't you see yourself in them, can't you? That's it. Yeah. And I just now, I don't know. I can read things in kids that maybe David couldn't because he hadn't been in that situation. But he could handle a meeting better than what I could because yeah, I'm not based yeah. for that situation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's going well. It's going well. I said to I said to David one day, could you imagine us opening a boxing gym and just having a full time wellness centre, like a full time, yeah, hub, inclusive hub, but it's got a gym in it. And said we'd have to call it the Holy Trinity ABC. So now after like Everton and the the yeah, the, yeah. the players, the Holy Trinity. And can it be done? Like with the yeah, music, I'd like to do that post fighting. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. There used to be new clubs not more than there. Used to be new clubs. All the fun like has gone, hasn't it? Boxing gyms are as kids youth clubs now, are they? And we've seen a big game. Um, I don't know if you've seen it in boxing, but especially since a few of us in the city and northwest have got really big in the UFC. Everyone, I feel like now is starting to drift towards us, yeah. Um, because they can see it as like it's such a pathway to other stuff, not just fighting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But and and still in boxing, like you look at Tash now, she's yeah. pundit presenting, yes, um, boxing, yeah, and mum, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Doing it all, and I don't know, there's more, more money is to be made, but. Are they making it the right way? I think they're not more, you know, like how many avenues boxing's given me to go around the like, property routes or any sort of other type of business and stuff like that, which I never expect to get out of boxing. I know. My me, me, me lad went to boxing for the first time last night. Did he? Yeah, in case he was saying, is he going to have a fight or what's he going to do? Don't like, put that pressure on him. Yeah. Of course, I get about is that he goes in the gym and he gets that respect for other people. Yeah. He gets that, that guidance. He understands how to, to work as a team yeah. in to socialise, and that's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah. People like, people, like, did you know how to socialise more? When you come from the lifestyle that like we came from, you, like, you're not taught these skills, Well, no, it was like, kick off and cry. Kick off, cry, or sit in the corner, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, yeah. you just had to survive by either saying nothing yeah. or attacking to get what you need to get. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was yeah. it. You can become fiddle, can't you? You don't yeah. know how to become in that, in that way of life. <laughs> yeah, no, I do know what's mad like... that you're saying feral. Do you know when, like, I literally went to the World Championships yeah. and I've seen certain countries which, I don't know how to word this, but you can just tell people who aren't as advanced in the world yeah, as, as what we are, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can see by the way they move, the way they act together, and I was thinking, fuck, that was definitely me when I was a kid. Yeah. When I was their yeah. age, that yeah. was definitely me. As these kids come through the doors of weapons stand gloves up, they're not yet taught to deal with people. Who've got business and financial agendas? Mm. They're not, are they? No, a kid came in, right? It's a really funny story. Kid came in, um, the class is taught at David Hughes um, at his, ha, on his site, right? Yeah. DT uh, on the DT yeah. Hughes site. And a kid's gone in and robbed someone's bike and robbed, gone home on it. And they've just rang him up and they was like, You've took one of the work, his bikes, you need to come and bring it back. And the lads had just like dumped it in a bush or something mental like that. Yeah. And they was like, right, you need to sit down. You're not going to be allowed to finish this now. Um, yeah. You're not allowed back on site. So what you've got to do is you've still go to the boxing part. And if you keep it up, then we might let you come back. You know, like keep the yeah. teacher a bit of consequence. But yeah. you just think, imagine when we was little. I know when we was kids, what we used to get up to. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So that yeah. is something that you just yeah. you I don't think of the consequences. Did you throw a bottle on someone? Or did you drop something? No. I just messing around the just just being fed more. You sold you you're gonna come in the world championships, that's it. You yeah. too fell. <laughs> Basically, yeah. But no. well, you're not sure these are the ways, are you? No. No. Yeah. And I see it now, do you know after going to them world championships? Yeah. The way I carry it myself, I literally said, Meatball does not work here, Molly McCann does. So it's like yeah, I hold yeah. myself to yeah. such a high standard where I don't know, 
come stand by me, you best bring something to the table, go the fuck away. Do you know what I mean? Like you have got to be the best version of yourself and, and conduct yeah. yourself in the best way. But yeah. we only... weren't given that. When we yeah. were kids, we wasn't taught that. And and when we did get that, we probably thought, oh, idiot. Yeah, well, so you like, have someone to emulate something. Now you've got you to emulate something. Yeah. But how do you do? <laughs> Who acts like that? Yeah, it's acting, it. That's all you say. What yeah. the fuck's that all about? Yeah. But now Molly, this way Molly conducts herself when she's working because yeah. you can see it in work and you can see it. In the gym, yeah. you know, into different people like that. Yeah, someone, someone went into the John Moore's uni gym and said to him, Carl, is Molly just loud all the time? They went, no, she's like, get stuck in works, the hardest work in the room. And then and I went to have a laugh and went, I can't have a laugh. Yeah. You can't do what we do and just be like this all the time because it just kill you off, wouldn't it? <laughs> it? Like, we get punched in the face every day. I've got to go breaking bones, sore muscles, torn ligaments, and what, you're just not supposed to laugh. You'd just be yeah. fucking demented all the time. It's a bit of time. a dark humour in there, aren't it? People wouldn't understand it. You seem a bit like a lunatic. And I went, you get punched in the face people. and then laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice shot, lads, do you know what I mean? Me and I don't spy the other day. We were getting our breaths on, we were talking, the bell went. It was only me and him in the gym, and we just turned to each other. Just like, just never said another word. And we just can't take each other's head off. It's mad, isn't it? 